Matt. Bus driver here. Brothers. And the ladies. And the haters that are most definitely watching. Yeah. So, a lot of drama. A lot of drama in the universe for the black manos. And you know, by extension, drama in the passport, bro, arena, a lot of stuff going back and forth. Women are fighting over line, online. You know, just gonna give a brief overview, everybody knows. But it, just in case you don't know, you know, the BWs have been attacking uh, the ladies overseas. And the ladies overseas are striking back. And I keep trying to tell you, the BWs ain't gonna win this. Because first, they're just, they're, they're coming into the game with weaves and wigs, and that's gonna get snatched off first. And it's just gonna expose a whole bald headed situation. So we can leave that for a whole nother story. So what is old MBD wants to yickety act with you today? Oh, that's right. The black manosphere having too many women in the space. You know, something that I have said a long time ago, and I've said multiple times, but you know, shit just keeps panning out the way I've been telling y'all brothers for years, especially if you've been around for a while, you know, your brothers should not have loud those women in your spaces. I told you years ago that the black manosphere was dead and the reason why, and, and one of them was the fact that you had women in your spaces. But you didn't want, but folks didn't want to listen. So you, there's going to be a lot of people who are subscribed to other people. There's going to be a lot of people to, who, who are listening uh, uh, to this video that's going to watch O'Shea Duke Jackson or going to go listen to Obsidian. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to be listening to this channel. You know, going to be go over and check out some other YouTubers. And those very YouTubers, many of them, allow women on their panels to discuss manosphere topics and thus giving credibility to these ladies, making them feel as if they have the credentials to speak for the men in said spaces. But it's not just the fault of these content creators who've allowed women on their panels to speak for the manosphere because you think you got an ally. Because she's saying the same things that you guys have said, but now she's making more money off of it because she's a female with the titties and she's got the titties out because she's wearing a tight shirt, hitting you with the titties, hitting you with the blonde hair, hitting you with whatever it is she's hitting you with because she's attractive and because you know that your men are simps especially for those BWs. Don't even try to say, oh, is that white girl needs sipping. No, she's just the latest. She's just the latest and the most successful out of it than all the other chicks. It was all those other chicks, those one that you felt that were closer to you, the BWs that were speaking on your behalf in the Manos fear, the black Manos fear. Y'all dudes, many of you who are going to be listening to, 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 to my voice, went over there and listened to them chicks' voices. Donated and gave them money. And then you expect other bras who've seen this, seen how somebody can come up? How is it that a man can spend years on YouTube perfecting a craft, perfecting a narrative, helping you brothers out, and a chick comes in, flies in, and can outlap that guy in the black manosphere multiple times over and subscribers it's because many of you guys are still thirsty for that ass and now you want to blame it on the white chick because the white chick has said this has said that now you're trying to dig up old shit on the white chick oh she said this about slavery she's quoting thomas swell swell whatever his name is Thomas Sowell, very intelligent guy. She's, she's quoting him, 
they came out wrong. She may have tweets that have said some things that could be considered racist. And now what? Folks is on YouTube making YouTube videos talking about this is your queen. Just pearly thing is jacket, uh, 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 um, Kevin Samuel style and took over. But who paved the way? Just pearly thing didn't just come out. Pearly things didn't just come out of ass nowhere. Who paved the way? All them other chicks previously. From 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 ones that you that, that, that haven't popped off and become hundreds of thousands of subscribers, all the way down, all the way up, whatever. You can name them. You know they're in the space. Saying the same thing that brothers have been saying for years. But you get more money out of it. Now you mad that somebody's getting the bag and you think you're gonna stop them? They're too far gone. They're too far ahead. Cause you didn't stop it when Big Titties was on the screen talking that shit. You didn't stop it when the girl that, that, that's just the avatar to everybody screaming, show your face, was talking that shit. You didn't stop it then. You couldn't stop it when they jacked the, your, 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 your intellectual property and trademarked the shit. You didn't stop it then. Now, now it's a big deal that this white chick's come around, her making a gang of money off of y'all. I mean, Fresh and Fit's doing the same thing. So, <laughs> it's supposed to be the manosphere, but there's so many women in the manosphere. Why do you think Kevin Samuels blew up? Kevin Samuels blew up because he wasn't doing, having discussions with him and men and, 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 and breaking these guys down, trying to build them back up. No, 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 no. He got successful because he was interviewing and critiquing women once again because you guys wanted him to hit these bras with the one-two punch to cut them down to size. To say the things you always want to say to these broads, but you couldn't say you didn't have the heart or the platform to say it. So he did, so he was your champion, your avatar. And now the formula is out. Now all these other folks are doing exactly the same thing. But remember, that was Tommy Sotomayor from the beginning. And his flaw is the, is, is the flaw that runs through all of this shit. Which was he was talking shit about these women, but he still wanted to be with them. And that's your problem over there in the black manosphere. You won't go away. You won't walk away. This is why you want to justify talking all women are the same because you want to justify why you staying where you were staying because you want to get with a Courtney Michelle. You want to get with a Shay Shantae or whatever her name is. You want to get with a Jessica X. Oh, don't lie to yourself and say, oh, you know, I'll get with just for No, you want the BWs. Just admit that, folks over there in the black mantle sphere, you still want to be with the BWs. That's what you guys want to do. This is why I say SYSBM is not a part of the black mantle sphere. This is why we had that fallout and we had to fall out with Obsidian. It's because I knew what you guys over there at the black mantle sphere really thirsted over. Those BWs. 
the ones that Kevin Samuels be interviewing and breaking down, the ones that be wearing the bonnets, the manly ones with the gang of tattoos. That's what you want. Now you're trying to get on this whole passport bro type situation, but you really isn't about that shit. It's because you, 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 you just want to, you know, hey, we're going to go to South Africa and find something. We're going to go, we're going to go to Africa. We're going to go to Brazil, go to Afro Brazil. You still are going to have the same issues because you're going to bring them back here to the States. And as Eddie Murphy said, um, foom, foom, he's going to be talking to his sisters, his cousins, the ladies from around the way, and you're going to have that issue five, six, because there's not going to be enough, a big enough cultural divide to keep her from having affinity for the sisters over here. Because she will look like them over here. She's married to you and then you're going to bring her around your sister because you want to be included into the black family barbecue. And Becky isn't doing it for you like that. Going to Asia, East Asia is too hard. Southeast Asia, yeah, but you're just going to play. And the ones that go over there are going to stay. And they're going to wife them something to bring it back here. But that's enough cultural difference. I know I'm ratting, but think about that shit. Your brothers over there have lost the black manosphere. And you're about to lose the whole passport bro movement because once again, you will not stand on the shit you created and say, no, that white guy is not a passport bro. He could be a passport Joe, but not a passport bro. Because a passport bro was a black man with a passport. Bro, brother, bro him, black. Mad bus driver, I'm out. Let me come back with a PS for that ass. Let me come back with a PS for that ass. So if you're here long enough for this, because you know, most of you guys will drop off because you like looking at the photos and shit. So because you guys looking at like looking at the photos, you're not really those type of brothers that are trying to live the SYSBM life because all you're into is the photos. You like looking at that shit, but you're not gonna actually work to be that shit. So fuck all of you guys. Um, uh, that they are not really for you know uh, down for the cause and shit. Um, listen, uh, you're gonna lose. You lost your black manosphere. You're gonna lose the passport, bro, because none of you guys respect. You was not raised to respect the black man's hustle. You was not raised to respect uh, uh, the work the black man's put in, and so therefore all that work them brothers have put in, video after video after video, form after form, trying to build up the space. You're gonna lose it because you want to be subscribed to this person, that person, this person, that person, this person, and especially that person because she's got the big titties, and. You got no conviction at all. You just want the fuck the BWs. And that's all it is, all it is to boil down because that's how your mama raised you, to be ineffective. Yes, I'm talking to you. Mad bus driver out.